Let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to Zara Technologies. I am Vipin Sharma. Today I am going to demonstrate project name Green Charging Station for EVs. So in this project, we will show the practical how EV can be charged wirelessly using the system. So first of all, I will tell you what are the components we are using here, how we have constructed it. And after that, I will explain the working of the project. So this one is the controlling part, which will control this relay, which is controlling the transmission part. So first of all, we are using here Arduino microcontroller, then LCD 16 cross 2. It is showing charging yes or no total bill generated. Here we have Wi-Fi, which will show readings on internet. We will connect this Wi-Fi to the router and through router, it will send values to internet. And we have one relay model, which will control the coil charging. And here, this part, we have power transmission circuit. This part, video you can find in link, complete video, how to make this particular part. So I will explain how it will work. Here we are using an IC CD4047. This IC is the timer IC. It will generate pulses, which will trigger this MOSFET, which will again uh, control this coil. So this coil is having the turn of 50. So if pulses comes here, it will generate magnetic field and on the receiver side, power will be transmitted. And this will be the receiver side. And also one example is here for receiver coil on the bottom of car. Okay. And uh, this is the power uh, regulator, uh, regulator circuit. If we give voltage like around 10 volt, 6 volt to 36 volt, it will always give you 5 volt. So here the receiver part, you can add your phone, charging phone, you can charge your Bluetooth speakers like this application I'm showing. So here we are using 7805 voltage regulator. Voltage re regulator work is to regulate voltage from 6 volt to 36 volt to 5 volt. So here we will get 5 volt particularly on this 5 volt and ground here. And LED is protected by 1 kilo ohm resistance. And two capacitors are used here to smooth the circuit. Same here also it is used. One diode is there so that current should go in one direction to protect the circuit. So you have to put 6 volt or you can say um, more than that for 5 volt generation. So you need more voltage on the input side if you need 5 voltage. 5 voltage why we need? Because our circuit is working on 5 volt. It's a low power circuit and this one your Wi-Fi is working on 3.3 volt. That's why we have connected it here. Arduino also provide 3.3 volt. So we can put wire here, it will directly get 3.3 volt. Capacitor I have used here so that a stable voltage should be uh, received by Wi-Fi module. Wi-Fi are, we are using here is EFP8266. It's a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So all components are collected, I hope, uh, are covered, I hope. And now uh, these components also, let me tell you what are these components. Uh, this one is resistance, 6 resistance. We can also use here variable resistance to vary the frequency of timing. After that, we are using here diode so that these capacitor tanks should charge. Okay, it will smooth the circuit. And one diode is here so that reverse it should not work. And then we are using one LED with one clone resistance to show the power is on like this. Okay, and this is one voltmeter, and this one is one IR sensor which will detect the obstacle. And you can also set its range here. Now, right now, it is detecting the object, so it will detect the car, and the relay will be on, and this coil will transmit power. Okay, guys, so now we will see working of this project. So in working, what we have to do, we have to turn on this Arduino. You can use battery here. Right now, I am just putting wire. This is B-type cable so that Arduino should be on and LCD should show values of bill and notification for it is charging or not. And then relay. 
and one obstacle is there so right now if you see if i put it here you can see charging is on or off okay like this so now if i put this coil here you will see charging will start once this device is on okay so you see charging is on now okay so that's the output of the button so if i remove this don't forget that this should always work now if i keep it above you see voltage is decreasing let me show like this that's why it is contactless so below car it will be there okay so let me put these downwards so that it can directly detect the surface of table okay now i will show you again this thing particular thing okay And you can see LED is turning off slowly. Why? Because capacitor is used here. Same way, if I put car here, I'm removing this part. I have made one small prototype. You can use any car from stationary, or I will provide. Okay, so like this, I have made one car, small car, and it will go. It will go like this, and if it comes here. You can see LED is glowing. Okay. Coil is on bottom. Will receive power from the receiver coil. So let me turn off this and show it again. Okay, now, how to show these values on internet because it is IoT based project as you know. So what I have to do, first I have to create one hotspot. Okay, hotspot means you have to create one hotspot so that your project should connect automatically. So what I have done, I have turned on this hotspot and I have named it project and 1234578 password and then bandwidth of 2.4, so it's a 2.4 device turn this off okay and you must have seen one device was connected there if you turn this off and on again you will see one device will connect here we have to wait and once this device is connected it means it has connected to internet and it got the internet now we will go to our website and it will show reading last entry one minute ago and these are the value we will see on internet like this bill and this is the total bill when car was there the total bill is 60 rupees so i have tested like before making the video so it was reaching like around 110 okay like that and also location you can show that where the garage or you can say charging station exactly is okay like this and uh, also you can control the lamp that if uh, that, mu that much amount of current or voltage is achieved so one lamp will be on and system will turn off i have not added in this one but we can have some modification further modification more modification you can ask me if you this want. is our code this one is the lcd liquid crystal library we have to include after that we have to include the code for writing on lcd this is LCD, you have to connect on pin number 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 then soft bill seal so that we can make any pin to communicate with the devices like RSTX we can add so we are adding Wi-Fi to 5 and 6 that's why we are using soft bill serial then soft bill serial we are using some strings IJK because we are sending 3 parameters on website 
After that, we can add API key of ThinkSpeak. Then, measurement. Uh, this code is for sending other two parameters also, but right now I am sending only one for the voltage. Then, measurement of time, then sense pin on 4, that is, IR sensor is connected to A4. Then, uh, these are the command for hotspot configuration project 10 1 2 3 5 7 and password. After that, meter, write meter bill. Then relay, then charging yes or no, we have to connect relay to pin number A3 and this one is the uh, relay, uh, this thing A3 and A3 relay, initially we have to use it as output and we have to turn it off, uh, to turn off relay we have to use high for that, if charging is yes, if IR is detected at A0, then charging is on and relay will be on. So this relay is connected to our uh, power transmission circuit. Now you will see again, this one is the pin where IR sensor is connected. A4 IR sensor is connected, A3 relay is connected. After that, if, if no charging will be off, if IR is not detected. After that count we can add till the IR is detected, we will add 10 to the bill, you can add in dollars, rupees, it's just a prototype so you can add according to your requirement. After that, these are the command to convert it so that we can send data to internet. This is our thing speak API, this is the address where you want to send it and this is the channel update like we want to set in the field 1. The voltage I we are sending and these are the command for transferring the data that's it and if you want to send more then we have to uh, write the code further for the different parameter like current temperature humidity yes sensor value etc okay so guys let me brief again about the project this one is a circuit for controlling this power generating circuit this one is the IR sensor which will control the charging of coil okay and this is a car receiving the power through this coil on the bottom this is solar panel which is charging the battery and we are showing all the work on website which is thingspeak.com you can see on website the total bill in this form also in graphical form also and where the project exactly is and also you can add you can also add charging lamp guys you can buy this project from our website or you can also whatsapp me for modification you required in the project if you need some modification like adding g 50 sm to car like showing the um, battery voltage current um, draw from the battery temperature humidity okay and if system is burning or not the some sensors you uh, we can add so for some modification to show that some research work is there and you can also ask us for research paper if you want to publish a research paper on this particular topic in on this project we can also help you and you can buy this project from our website hello everyone we are from Zara technologies new delhi india we develop research based software and hardware projects and products globally Zara technologies has the largest collection of projects on our website you can get services like unique engineering projects science projects mtech phd thesis guidance self-learning kits ready-made projects hardware components drone related services, software and simulations, research paper writing and publications in top journals and conferences. We also provide patent related services. So to upgrade your knowledge, you can join our channel. For more details, please check the description. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.